Hi, everybody. So welcome back to First Gen Professor. Today is going to be a quick technique, and we're going to be focusing on microphones. Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, and if this is your first time here, this is First Gen Professor, a channel about how academia really works. And today this is just a very quick video because there's a phenomenon I've noticed over the past 20 years within academia, and I think a very quick tip could help a lot of people, and that surrounds mic technique. Now, I have a background in music, uh, recording, and touring, and so this is something of second nature to me, but I realize that for a good number of people, uh, something like this is actually a very exotic or foreign object that many people don't quite know how to use. And you see it all the time if you attend conferences or panels, especially when the audience during Q&A is being handed a microphone, whether it's a handheld mic uh, or maybe a mic on a boom. Uh, academics like to talk with their hands. We kind of, especially in the humanities, uh, if you've ever seen photographs of various universities or department pages, there's always someone with like their hands curled like this. It looks like we're summoning the Dark Lord. And the problem is, is that desire to look philosophical clashes with basic mic techniques, which is that the mic has to remain stable in front of the speaker's face. And more importantly, for a mic of this nature, which is the most common you're going to see, is that if you turn your head to maybe address someone else on the panel or to turn behind you and to point to someone who asked a question before you, the mic has to follow you when you move. The common mistake I see all the time is that people seem to have this idea that the mic is some kind of magical object that simply by touching it amplifies the voice. So someone will be handed the mic and they'll say, uh, thank you for this wonderful presentation. You know, I was wondering when you're... And then you have people kind of yelling at them from the audience, like, put the mic up in front of your face or we can't hear you. And it just creates a kind of shit show that uh, serves nobody. So uh, just basic practice that you can do to become comfortable with mic. So what you want to do, and if you don't have an actual microphone in your possession, you could practice with a toilet paper roll if you're able to find one of these rare objects during quarantine. But basically you've got this thing, and what you want to practice is that no matter where you turn your body, up, down, left, right, you want to practice that it follows you around as if it's kind of bolted to you in whatever orientation you are. So you can go full on philosopher's stone like so many of us like to do, myself included, but practice, they say, you know, I want to point out something that is problematic about this discussion thus far is the fact that we are omit, like whatever you're doing, you're constantly following yourself around. That is going to make your mic technique spot on perfect and will help the panelists, the conference participants focus on your question, your thought, rather than your crappy mic technique. Now, there are a few other quick tips just to, you know, put an extra bit of polish on your technique. One is, is that you do not need to kind of punk rock this thing when you hold it. You don't need to like shove it up to your face. That's a fun way to sing. Trust me, um, I, I come from a background in basically three-pieced drum bass guitar, loud music, and it's really fun to just, you know, in a live show to press your face up to the mic and really go at it. But you don't want to be doing that when you're asking a panelist of Ottomanists their feeling about X, Y, and Z. Neither should you necessarily beatbox it. Your safe bet is that you want to keep this about six inches from you, but most importantly is that no matter how much you pontificate and how much you try to summon the Dark Lord, that you want this mic to be just absolutely bolted to your line of sight. So this is just a very quick tip about how you can be comfortable with the various pieces of technology that we all encounter. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you are interested in learning more and more about how academia really works behind the scenes, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.